this conference was uh, extremely helpful in reviewing the current progress towards uh, various kind of uh, therapies and there has been uh, tremendous progress uh, towards protein replacement uh, therapy um, for recessive dystrophic EB. Uh, there is quite a lot of progress in uh, gene therapy uh, and um, of course the progress in cell-based therapies, in other words uh, you know, bone marrow transplantation or fibroblast injections directly in the skin, they all are coming to the stage that they are soon in the clinical trials. One of the exciting things for researchers is that coming to meeting by meeting every two or three years when we have these DEBRA meetings, the advances are immense. It is incredible how much new stuff has come along in the last three years and uh, that's really remarkable and I think if you're living with EB it's very encouraging. Clinical trials are happening. Those treatments which can make a difference are just starting to be introduced. Nobody's there yet. We haven't got the finished treatments. It's work in progress but by goodness it's, it's really exciting to see this new research being presented because I do feel we are taking giant steps forward. It's been a very well organized conference um, and uh, what, what I think is very uh, obvious about the whole thing is that there are a lot of very brilliant people who are also very dedicated about um, and passionate about this particular field and um, really do are, are putting in an effort to actually try and find a solution or solutions to the whole thing. You look at um, uh, what uh, has been presented here versus in Vienna three years ago. Uh, there are many more people now in clinical trials uh, actually treating patients. There are a lot of scientists at the conference and many of them work on test tubes. They work occasionally on animal models like small mice that can help give us new insight into EB. But it's fascinating for me that the moment these guys meet somebody who's got EB, living with EB day to day, they suddenly realize what it's all about. Perspective comes into focus and they really realize that uh, their basic research and the translation that's following that is the way to go and it gives them motivation and uh, puts their work into the, a beautiful context. The other thing that I must add is, is that Deborah is also the way the conference is organized. People like myself there are patient advocates, there are patients themselves. It has brought together um, a whole range of people that, that, that in some way or the other could contribute um, towards finding a solution to this.